In South Africa, inmates of the Zonderwater Medium Security Facility made headlines when they crocheted blankets in memory of late freedom fighter and former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, who passed away in December last year, age 95. The activities were only one of the many charitable efforts that happened across South Africa in his memory. Carolyn Stein, the founder of 67 Blankets for Mandela Day, an NGO which came up with a blanket idea, said, A lot of them want to make a difference. They want to do something for Nelson Mandela. Carolyn Stein was sure about the path she undertook after her meeting with the inmates and prison officials. According to her, her biggest obstacle was the threat of the crochet pins being used as a weapon. The problem was thankfully solved by the prison authorities. The social activist was also happy to report that prison wardens noticed that the crocheting prisoners had become more placid. She expressed the hope that one day, these bad guys would also make blankets for their loved ones. And the world has continued to turn to social media in order to share their stories, as well as paying tribute to a wonderful and inspirational African leader. Many offered their tributes and eulogies, and there was a massive outpouring of love for the visionary leader, who is also seen as a beacon of joy and hope for the continent. Last week, we mentioned that women in Nigeria are pushing to see more women included in politics. Well, Ghana has picked up the baton this week. Mrs. Comfort Duoye Kujogansa, a member of Ghana's parliament from ADA, has encouraged women participants to support women in the coming district polls in the country, adding that Ghana needs more women on seats of leadership. The parliamentarian said that an increase in women's participation in politics at the grassroots level will improve local governance and help those voted into power to listen and assist the people who have voted them in. In her words, there are few women contesting, and I think their positions must not be taken away by the male counterparts. We need to be strong and fight for positions that will enable us to participate actively in policy formulation and decision-making processes. She went on to say, the women contesting are very bold, so please do not let us deny them the opportunity to serve the nation. Mrs. Kujogansa also added that many women would want to be in the mainstream of political activities, but most of them develop cold feet. She went on to explain that this was because some women didn't feel that their educational backgrounds were strong enough, especially in light of the fact that to get the support of the electorate, women are required to outshine their male counterparts in constructive arguments, debates and the presentation of ideas. Mrs. Kujogansa added that women deserve to and must also be seen as crusaders in the fight against corruption and other social vices. She's quoted as saying, One of democracy's major principles is human rights, which include the political rights of men and women. This means that women must participate fully and equally in politics and in all decision-making processes, including parliamentary activities. Guys, for Still on the Matter today, we're sure you will relate. At African Celebsis, when you go to Obodo Yibo and they tell you, go back to Africa, you say they are racist, yet you will tell someone, go back to your village. True, right? We agree. Now guys, the UN International Anti-Corruption Day was created to raise awareness about corruption and show us different ways to fight it. If you didn't know that, now you do. The day is celebrated on the 9th of December every year, so start planning towards next year's. We're going to take a quick break now, but we will be right back.